There was a time in my life where I would have never imagined that I would be able to wake up every day and know my bills are paid. And I'm blessed financially that my bills being paid isn't the only money I have. I actually have dollars in my pocket after I've paid my bills. There was a time when I woke up and got in a car that most days I didn't know if it would crank. I could go to a store and I wouldn't know if it would crank when I walked out. I didn't have heat. I didn't have air. There were days that I would have never imagined that I would have been able to buy my own groceries without an EBT card. There were days that I would have never in my life imagined that I would be married with five kids to an amazing man, to somebody who loves me and cares about me, but most importantly, loves and cares about God and my kids too. There was a time in my life where I never thought that the life I live now would be the life that I have. That my house is paid for. I have two vehicles that belong to me in, in the yard and both are very nice vehicles. There's a time in my life where I would never have imagined the things that I have. There was a time in my life that I was broke, single mom, doing the best I can with struggle after struggle after struggle after struggle after struggle and then some but now I have an amazing job there were days when I had to work nights and weekends and my whole life away missing out on so much with my kids I would have never imagined a Monday through Friday 8 to 5 job where I'm actually making enough money to do what I need to do for my family. I would have never imagined the life I have, but I can tell you how I got it. Because so many of you want to complain about God doesn't give you this and God won't pull you from this situation, but those times made me strong. And it made me, most importantly, appreciate every blessing that he has given me now. There were times that I had to ask for help on my electric bill because guess what? I could not pay it. There were times that I had to beg for money. And I didn't like it. But it humbled me. And it made me realize that once God blessed me with the things that I have now, I would appreciate it. And I would appreciate, most importantly, Him for giving it to me. See, nobody wants to go through the struggle. No one wants to go through the problems. But guess what? That's what makes you who you are. That's what gives you that testimony that you're going to need to help somebody else when they go through that struggle and that problem. That's the most amazing part of all of it. See, God never didn't love you in the storm and didn't want to help you or bless you or give you what you wanted. He just needed to make you tougher and stronger and more appreciative to the things he was going to still give you. I hope that you guys understand that our God is a good father, an amazing father. Probably the best father you'll ever know, even if you had the best father. I promise you, he will one-up it. But you really have to focus on him. You have to pay your tithing. And I know that's a sensitive subject to a lot of people, but you have to pay your tithing. It's important. It's important to pay your tithing. Because in the Bible, it tells you to pay your tithing. And I understand some people, not churches, who are asking for you to pay your tithing, but they're not asking for your tithing for them. They're not asking for your tithing to bless themselves. They're asking for your tithing so that you may be blessed, so that you can live the full life of God, and most importantly, so that you understand where your heart really is. Because unfortunately, there are so many Christians who don't tithe. 
There are so many Christians who don't think God even loves them because of the struggles they go through. See, if I was a millionaire and I only gave $100, that doesn't mean nowhere near as much as that single mom who has $20 in her pocket. But she still gave half of her check to God. Y'all don't understand. Read your Bibles. Don't get mad at churches for wanting you to do what God has been asking you to do this whole time. Don't get mad at God because you're struggling. Because guess what? That struggle will end. And as long as you're faithful and you learn what he needs you to learn, I promise you it gets better. I'm proof. It gets better. I have everything you could ask for. Everything. I own two houses, a wonderful husband, five amazing kids. And I mean amazing. Like, they're good kids. They don't give me a whole bunch of problems. They don't get in troubles at school. Good grades. I have an awesome car. But I also have a nice SUV. I have a great job. I'm able to take care of the things I need to take care of. And I'm able to go to bed every night in an air-conditioned home. I'm able to go to bed every night next to a man that I love. With good food in my stomach that I paid for. And that, that's a good feeling. So if you ever wonder why God takes you through struggles and trials and problems and stress and financial burdens... Trust me, it makes you better, but it makes you appreciate every blessing that you have when he gives it to you. Once he gives you those things you didn't have before, and he gives you that comfort that you did not even realize was there the whole time. All you had to do was lean on him. All you had to do was trust him. Promise you, he's there. He's got you. Let him have you. That's all. I'm done. Bye, guys.